Hello, I'm Olive Geddes. I'm Senior Curator in the Manuscripts Collections Division here at the National Library of Scotland. And I want to talk to you today about the Patrice Geddes papers in the library. I should say first of all that it's pure coincidence that my name is Geddes, I have no relation. Uh, Patrick Geddes' papers have been given to the library over a number of years by different members of his family. They consist of his correspondence and his working papers relating to many of the numerous projects that Geddes was involved in over his long lifetime. Patrick Geddes is known more for his magnificent failures than his successes. He was disorganised, um, had difficulty in disciplining himself to write for publication, seemed to be unable to complete tasks and to collaborate effectively. He flitted like a butterfly from one topic to another and he must have been infuriating to work with. He was called a most unsettling person. We know him today principally as a town planner, but he was also a botanist, biologist, a pioneer of the environmental movement. Patrick Geddes was born in 1854 in Ballater in Aberdeenshire. He soon moved to Perthshire, where he grew up. And the Perthshire countryside and his father, Alexander Geddes, who was a native Gaelic speaker and former soldier, were huge influences on him. And particularly they influenced his passion for seeing life whole. I've got a letter here from Patrick Geddes to his father, to Alexander Geddes. Um, it's written in 1898. But in, in the letter he says, Dear Dad, it is a great thing for me to have your example to look back and fall back upon. As I have told you before, I've been a pupil of many great naturalists, each of whom, whom knew far more than you ever dreamt of, but I have to thank you for my love of nature and of gardens. Patrick Geddes settled in Edinburgh in the 1880s and he worked at the university as an assistant in practical botany. He became involved in the renewal of the old town as he believed that people thrived in environments that best suited them. Geddes got married to Anna Morton, who was a daughter of a wealthy Liverpool merchant in the mid-1880s. And at first they lived in Princes Street, but they very soon moved to the old town to a flat in James Court, which really was a slum dwelling in those days. So it was a very brave move of them. And this is one of Geddes's principles that he thought you shouldn't pronounce as to how people should improve the lot. You had to immerse yourself in the conditions first of all before you could decide what was the best way to move forward. As part of his plan to regenerate the old town, Geddes drew up a scheme to create gardens. The plan was to create about 75 gardens and we think that 10 were actually built. I've got a, a plan here which shows the open spaces in the old town of Edinburgh. This was drawn up in 1908. And there's a note, a label here saying, a number of gardens have been made by the Outlook Tower Open Spaces Committee from 1909-10. The Outlook Tower was on Castle Hill, uh, still is on Castle Hill, and this was purchased by Geddes and set up as, as his uh, sociological laboratory. The Outlook Tower on Castle Hill is, is now known as the Camera Obscura. In 1903, Patrick Geddes submitted proposals for the redevelopment of Pittencreef Park in Dunfermline. This was an open competition. And it was his first major city design report. In this, Patrick Geddes brought together cultural and educational institutions, uh, gardens, sport, recreational facilities. And you can see them all on this plan here. Um, he's even got a zoo here. There are areas for tennis and bowls. There's a domestic garden, there's a laird's garden a fernery, conservatory, craft village at the far end here, and a nature palace and museum. Geddes's plans were rejected, but this proposal was hugely influential. And from this, he went on to develop his theories of town planning. From 1914 to 1924, Geddes lived and worked as a town planner, largely in India. Again, he was engaging in urban renewal, but he also worked in Tel Aviv and was involved in the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. In the mid-1920s, he set up the Scots College at Montpellier in the south of France. 
1931, he accepted a knighthood, and he died in 1932. So today he's revered as the father of town planning, but Patrick Geddes is so much more.